Can you believe that I created this? These are multiple characters that are completely consistent. It's all the exact same character, but he is in different scenes. And as you can see, he looks extremely consistent in every single one of these images. And on top of it, he has perfect positioning and realistic emotions. And I created all of this in just a couple of seconds using one tool. And the best thing about this tool is you can even change the body parts. Guys, the tool that we are using today is a tool called the Design AI. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through step by step so that you can understand exactly how to use this incredible tool. You are going to be amazed by the amount of things that you can do using this one tool from video generation to image generation to actual editing while you are busy with the image. You can change so many things and then once you're done with the image, you can actually turn that same image into a video. This is the best place for all around editing and I'm going to be showing you guys the tool today. So guys, so whether it's for social media or just to create some incredible characters, this is the tool for you. Let's jump in and let's check out Design AI. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to the website for Design. Then you're going to go over here to New Project guys. So you're just going to click on that and then you're going to add in your project name. So I'm just going to put in Consistent Characters and then guys, as you can see here, here is the Aspect Ratio. So guys, you can actually select 9, 9.16 if you want it for your phones, if you want to do it for social media, but if you want to do it for your PC, then you're going to have to go for 16 by 9. So I'm going to select that one guys and then we're going to hit apply and then after that guys we are just going to go over here to the character section and now guys as you can see you have two different options so when it comes to the characters you can either start with images or you can start with a description to so start with images is you can add in your own images and then it will actually generate off of that or you can start with a description so guys for, for the purposes of today's video I'm going to be going with start with a description just to show you guys how easy it is to create the character from scratch so guys we are going to give our character a name let's go with Sam and now we have to describe our character so we're gonna head over to chat GPT real quick and then guys once you are over on chat GPT you're gonna go over to this section and you're gonna put in a prompt like this so I'm just gonna say give me a character design for a 25 year old male character named Jacob make him extremely realistic and go into a great amount of detail for him that is extremely crucial guys because you want them to really describe this character as best as possible so here you can see chat GPT is going through everything from his height to his weight to all the tiny little details about him so once that is done guys all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in this little section so I'm just gonna say summarize all of this into a single prompt to use on an image generator website and mainly focus on his appearance now that is also key guys because that is a cool way of making sure that you have something very small and something that we can copy across all of the creations so yeah they gave us two options I am personally gonna go with the first one guys I think that one is much better and then I am going to copy it and now we're gonna head over back to design once you get back over to design guys now it's time for us to put in our character so we are just gonna put that in over there and then guys here you can see here's a reference space that you can use so if you want them to build it off of an image that you have maybe it's yourself maybe it's someone else you know maybe it's an image you have generated you can just add that over there or you can just leave it as it is and you can go to the bottom section now and you can select your style so that's just basically means anime cartoon or anything I'm gonna click this middle section right over here because that is the realistic one then we're just gonna click over here so that we can start generating our character and guys now you can see it is giving us a character that we can preview so out of these two options that we now got guys let's say we are not happy with either of them all we can do is just click on the top section and we can just regenerate that and once we do that we will then get another set of options but guys there you can see these ones are a bit more detailed so the one that I'm gonna go for is the second one and now guys we're just gonna click on start training and it's gonna start training the specific image so that it is perfect so that we can use it across multiple images videos and I'm gonna show you guys that in just a minute so guys now that our character is ready we are gonna click on use inconsistent character so now guys you can see when you do create a character they will always appear on the right hand side of the screen and all the editing stuff is on the left hand side so all you have to do is just hover over the images and you'll be able to see it and if you want it to appear in the middle of the screen all you have to do is then double click it so guys as you can see when you look at the images under the images there is a couple of things that you can do with these so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the left hand side I'm gonna click on character and this is basically where you can see all of your different characters guys so there's these are some preset ones but the one that we are focusing on is the one right at the bottom which is Sam that is the character that we created so guys I'm just gonna put him in over there and then I'm gonna click on this image and now that the image of Sam is in the middle guys we are gonna head over to the left for character and then we're gonna click on 
and generate images so that we can start creating some incredible images using Sam. So as you can see, his character description is still there. Now in this bottom section, we are going to add in something for Sam to do. So guys, what I'm gonna say is, Sam is standing on the beach and the sunset is in the background. Now this is pretty simple and I'm sure that they are gonna hit this on the mark. Now this is pretty cool, the camera. So guys, what you can do is you can select how you want the camera shot to be. So I'm gonna select close up and also I'm gonna say from a front view because I want us to see his face up close. That is super important for me so that we can see how they are copying his face from the one image to the next. And now guys, we're just gonna make sure that everything else is fine and then we're gonna click on generate. And now you can see that it is starting in the top right hand corner. And guys, once it is done, it's gonna look like this. So as you can see, it looks extremely cool. What they did is they kept his face perfectly in focus. It is definitely the exact same character and that is already so cool guys, but I'm gonna show you what else we can do just using this character. Now guys, it's time for us to put Sam in a couple of different scenarios so that we can really test out the image generator side. So guys, for the prompt, I'm just gonna put in that Sam is a race car driver and he's about to get into his car and since I'm a fast and the furious lover, he's getting into a Toyota Supra that is neon green and it's at night and there's a lot of lights around him. So guys, now we're gonna change up the camera since we're gonna wanna see a bit more of him. So I'm gonna put it on full body so that everything will be in frame and then we're just gonna click on generate guys. So guys, this is how the man looks standing next to his incredible looking Toyota Supra. And as you can see guys, the face is still looking awesome. So now guys, I actually created a couple of more images that we can just take a look at. And the one thing that you will notice across all of these images is that they really did keep in all of the detail guys. You can see here, he's standing in a coffee shop. Here he's busy writing in a notebook. Here he's just walking down an empty street guys. So that one guys, it has, it looks pretty cool. It has the hair right, but it doesn't exist exactly have the face. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do. We are gonna click over here on face swap and then guys, we're gonna change this face over here in the corner and we are actually first going to download this image since this is the best image of Sam's face. We're gonna download that one and then we're gonna go over into our downloads and we are going to add it in. So now guys that I've added in the image of Sam's face, then we are just gonna click over here to redirect it so we can select the face in the image and we can now swap the two. Now the nice thing is guys that it doesn't just add in the face on top because then you would see the proportions is off. What it actually does is it looks at the face that is in the image and then it perfectly blends the image that we are adding to the picture. And you guys are gonna see that in the top right hand corner. And there guys, the image is now done and I like the fact that it gave us four options to choose from. So when you take a look at these guys, you can now see that the face changed, the hair changed a little bit and these are looking more like Sam guys. This is absolutely cool guys. And here's a couple of the other images that we also created guys just before we go past them here we have sam playing the guitar with a camera beside him here we have sam on the beach but i'm about to go hit some waves with his surfboard in his hand and the one thing that you'll see guys is that each image goes perfectly with the next one so the cool thing is you could take this character sam and because they have his description and they have the image of the character himself they can then adjust this and they can add it to almost any scene but now the one thing i did notice is guys if you are looking at full body images, then usually they will fill off the character just a little bit, such as this image with the surfboard over here, guys. You can actually tell that because it is a full body picture, his arm is a little bit off and the surfboard is on the side. But guys, with some clever tools, you can actually remove the arm and then that's going to make the image look right. But the main thing that we are focusing on, guys, is consistency and that is where this tool is really shining. And now, guys, just when you thought that this tool couldn't get any better, that is the image generator the side. So you already know that those are looking cool. They are perfect amongst the others, but we want to turn this into a video, guys. So when you do that, guys, you're just going to select your favorite image. So I'm going to go with this one with Sam playing the guitar. Then you're going to click on AI video. You're going to make sure that it is on Kling 1.6, guys. So 2.0 is cool and that is out now, guys, but the one that I would always suggest is 1.6. So once you click on that, guys, we're going to go a little bit down. So now, guys, what you can do is you can add in an end frame if you want to. So that basically means where the character will end off. But now I wanna see what they can do with a singular image. So we're gonna delete that guys, and then we're gonna go over here and we can describe what's going to be happening. So let's do something pretty simple. So I want Sam to play his guitar. That's 
pretty pretty simple let's see if they can get a standing image of him and let's see if they can make his hands move so now it is important guys to take the imagination down to 0.3 because if you're doing that it is going to stay as close to the image as possible it's not going to change up a lot of things so that is what you'll notice if you do give them creativity so maybe the the clothing will look kind of funny so i would always suggest take it down to 0.3 but not any lower than that then you're going to select your duration guys i'm going to leave it on five seconds and then we are going to create this and now guys let's take a look at what it looks like when sam is playing the guitar Now guys, let's change it up. I want Sam to put his guitar down and I want him to walk towards camera. So we're gonna leave everything exactly the same guys and we are gonna submit that again. But now guys, just to show you how it looks when the creativity is a little bit up guys, we are going to also generate it for that guys. So here is the two videos side by side and as you guys can see, it looks absolutely cool. You can now see Sam busy playing the guitar and the nice thing is guys, they are even moving the entire image around him. So it's not necessarily just him because as you can see, the frame is actually moving at the same time and it looks absolutely cool guys. Even when he's putting down the guitar, I can't notice any mistakes in that and the nice thing is it looks like you are looking at a small scene from a video. Now it may only be five to 10 seconds, but it is absolutely awesome. Now guys, if we were using this tool, I could actually download all of this. We could put it into one long clip and we could actually create an entire video out of this. Let me know in the comments guys, if you guys want to see a video like that, drop that in the comments guys and we can hit that on one of our next videos. But guys, let's get back into design. So there's just one more thing that I really want to show you guys. So we're gonna go over to the generation section and then we are going to pick this image since this is another really good image of Sam, then what I'm gonna put in here is, I'm gonna say, I want him to walk towards the ocean and get into the water. I'm gonna put it on that guys. Now we're gonna put it for 10 seconds and we're gonna bring the imagination down. So guys, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to see this video over here on what it looks like when he is walking towards the ocean. And now take a look at this. So I added in an end frame and now let's see him getting into the water. Now the thing is guys, there's so many things that you can do with this. Take a look at this video right over here. All I did was I just said, I want Sam to be smiling while he is writing. And as you can see, it changed up his entire facial expression. The brilliant thing about design is that by doing tiny little things, you can change up a lot in your content. Just by having Sam as the stationary character, you can do so many different things with him. You can change his facial expression. You can add more people into the image if you want to. But the main thing that we were looking at is consistency and I can tell you guys, design hit that to the T. So guys, this is definitely a game changer when it comes to video editors, guys. And I want us to go further into this. I want us to really dive deep and to show you guys everything that this incredible tool can do. So let us know in the comments, guys, if you guys want us to do a full tutorial on design, I can promise you guys that there's so many awesome things that you can do using just one tool. So guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I have a feeling that you are going to absolutely love the video that is popping up on the screen right now. And also don't forget to check out Design AI. You can find that in the first link in the description below, guys. And guys, as you know, it's your boy Ty and I will catch you on the next video over here on Zinho Media.